Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium. Okay, so we are going to do an hour at least. Okay, an hour. <laughs> A show that will be here for an hour. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I never know what I'm saying at the beginning of the show. So if you're new, please don't judge my intro. Let's get past the intro into the show. So um, this uh, this ensemble is, uh, I'm still nar narrowing down choices for my niece's wedding, and this is not it. And I really like it. It's really pretty. However, it just, she just keeps falling off of me. <laughs> like she's running away from me. <laughs> like this shoulder falls, this shoulder falls. <laughs> she's like, get me off of you. <laughs> I don't know. So she is not going to be the final choice for the wedding. Um, I'm just sitting here and she's falling. <laughs> so, hey, uh, pretty, but not practical. Not that all of y'all needed to hear that, but this is a really good way for me to test dresses because I have to sit here for an hour. And if they don't work while I sit here for an hour, definitely not going to work while I'm doing the chicken dance. Okay, I really won't do the chicken dance. I'm just saying. <laughs> Uh, just not going to work while I'm doing the chicken dance, but I don't do the chicken dance, but we know what we mean. Okay. Uh, for today's show, I will be taking callers. I will be answering questions in the chat. If you would like to join us live, <laughs> the call-in number is 845-277-9131. You can ask one question or connect with one loved one on the other side. Or you can pop into YouTube and join us live on YouTube and ask questions and join the chat. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, I'm here every Monday and Wednesday at noon central, so you can join in. I am. I have an announcement. I'm all over the place with my announcements today, but this is a new announcement. I'm setting up a live event um, on August 31st. And uh, I think the event is going to start at, I haven't figured out the start time, but it's in the evening. It's going to be 6.30 or 7 p.m. And um, it's in Milwaukee at the Crown Plaza Airport. I will be... Um, putting everything on my website to let everybody know. So if you're not from the area, you will be able to join um, somehow online. Maybe I'll use uh, Blog Talk and YouTube to also live stream it in some way, but we'll see. I'm still working out those details for it. Okay, now um, in a minute, um, I'm going to get started, but before we go into the actual answering the questions, we do the names of loved ones on the other side and jo Joel, Joel, J-O-E-L-L-E, -E, before I even get to finish, is coming in strong. Joel um, definitely is here. And so before I go any further with names or songs, whether it's a name or a song, it could be a name, your name, their name, a song they knew, you knew, or you listened to together, or just is an answer to your question. So Joelle is the first name that I'm hearing. The next name I'm hearing is Dave or David, and then Gunthree. Sorry. Gunthree with no shock. No shock in my voice about the name Gunthree. It's a perfectly normal name, Gunthree. Um, the next name is J Jacob. And then Marasana, Marasana, M E R C O N A, I think, which I would pronounce Mercana. So Marasana. I could be pronouncing it wrong. And then um, 
Emma Louisa or Emma Louise. Emma Louisa or Emma Louise. Okay, the songs. And I am going to tell you guys, I'm so happy this show is here because I, this song yesterday and today, I cannot anymore. And it's not even a whole song. Somebody up there has such a sense of humor. Give me one margarita, I'm going to open my... Give me one margarita, I'm going to open my legs. Give me two margaritas, I'm going to give you some. <laughs> give me three margaritas, I'm going to put it in my juice. Give me four margaritas. And this song has played over and over and over, so please stop. It is out. It's not even a song. It's just a viral thing that is whatever. Okay, so that's done. And the other one. This morning, the beat of it was going through my head, and I'm like, what song is this? What song is Back That Ass? Oh, Back That Up. Back That and Well, it, it's a song, Back That Ass Up. You, I, I cannot sing it as fast as he does, but um, na, 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 na. I can't even. I can't even. If you know, you know. If the song's for you, you're going to immediately know. Okay, I that is the only words I can get from. I mean, there are other. You're a real fine woman now. Back that ass up, and then the rest of it is all a blur. Okay, so if that song's for you, you're gonna know. Okay, and then the next song is um, "Take It." <laughs> I like the "Take It to the Limit." One more time. Yep, one more time. If that song's for you, you know. Um, the next song is, oh, happy days are here again. The sun is shining. It's clear again. I like that. That's sweet. Thank you. Thank you so much for that sweet little song. And then one more song. I'm only doing one more, so make it good. Rock me like a hurricane. Whoever that's for, rock me like a hurricane. Love that. I want to say hi to everybody online um, in the chat. You guys freaking rock. We have Mimi in here. Hey, Mimi. Uh, Margaret. Um, Heather's in here. Isabella's in here. <clears throat> Diana Perez. Thank you for being here. Kathy. Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Anne. Kate. Rebecca Sal. Um, Genevieve. Hey, Genevieve. And I think I don't want to miss anybody, but I think that's everybody that's chatting right now. Pretty sure it is. Um, if you are in the chat and you have a question, please post that question. I will get to it as soon as possible. I'm going to go to callers. Oh, channeling. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to forget. Um, the channeling. Here we go. I don't, I never know what this is going to be about everybody. They just come in and say what they want like a, like a guest. So the channeling will last about a minute or so, and then I'm going to start answering questions. So, um, yep, here we go. Channeling. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> It is time now for you to become united. There is no division amongst any of you. There is no need to think that there is, um, I, uh, there is no need to think or feel of division or inequality. All that comes into your life is coming from within you. It is now the time to go within you and tap into each and every resource that you have. Flourish and feed the seeds and the flowers within you and watch what grows and what appears in front of you. Do not look to others for what they may say and what they may do. Only look within and find out why you are not getting a positive answer that you want and take care of that. For once you take care of all of the answers 
that are not positive, that are giving you a negative response, that are not helping your growth, your creativity, then your life will flourish and you will have everything that you wish. There is nothing outside of you that stops you, only that which is inside of you. One decision after the other to move forward or to not move forward, to take the chance or to not take the chance, to make a change or to not make a change. These are all the choices that you go through daily from the time you wake up until the time you go to sleep. Most of these choices are choices that you make every single day, the same choice over and over again without even exploring other options. And then you feel as though you are stuck in what you may call a rat race. It is time for you to get out of what you may call a rat race and start living your life, your race, your existence. And you do that by making a choice, a simple choice. Look deep within you and understand that if you have a vision, it is your vision for your life that you are supposed to bring. It is time for you to bring. We implore you to bring it into fruition. It is not necessary for you to start everything full on. Like I must quit everything and do this. It's not a drastic, I'm cutting out this and I'm starting that. It is a subtle, sometimes very slow transition from what you're doing into what you're doing and sometimes overlapping. You may be doing this, but starting this on top of it and then moving further and further into this, which is your purpose, your passion, what you are here for, what feeds your soul, what brings you joy, what opens your eyes when you think about it. Oh, I like that one, you guys. Do you like that one? I love that one. I love it. Okay, I'm going to get started with the um, questions. If you are calling in and I say your area code, please make sure you have a clear connection. A very clear connection. Um, so if you're on your car and it's coming through your car or you're on speaker, please take it off of that just for this call. Um, and also have one question prepared. One, qu qu one question, one solid question. Please don't ask me for a general reading. I'm not going to give a full on general reading. If you would like a general reading, I would love to do that for you. You can contact me through my website, www.tonig.info. Um, but for this, one question about life, love, career, finances, or if you would like to connect with a loved one up above, I just need their name and their relationship to you. I think I've covered it. I'm going to go to 631, and then I'm going to go to YouTube and start answering questions there. Here we go. 631, what's your name, and where are you calling from? Hi, Suzanne, Long Island. Um, thank you for taking my phone call. I'm moving to Florida in four weeks. Do you see me staying there or moving to North Carolina or staying in Florida? Um, is she gonna, yeah, okay. Is she going to move to North Carolina? Yes. Okay, eventually you're going to move to North Carolina. Um, you are going to end up in Florida, but, but you're, um, you're actually going at the beginning. I think of their, like, I think it's hurricane season, which comes in in um, very shortly. And I think you're not going to like the like the drama or the tr uh, trauma of that, like the uh, people who live there, they're so used to it. But I think you're going to, when I ask if you're going to end up in North Carolina, I definitely get a yes that you're going to end up in North Carolina. Um, I don't, again, yeah. yes, go ahead. Well, I'm just moving now. I am packing everything I own and just going. My son's only 22, but he's stationed in the military in North Carolina. So I thought maybe later on he would stay there. I can't move like in a year or so, but I'm hoping I meet somebody in Florida and don't have to keep moving. A nice man. Okay. Um, well, 
Here's what I can tell you. Your question was, I'm moving to Florida. Will I be moving to North Carolina? Yes, eventually. Now you do have free will and you have a choice. <clears throat> so when that opportunity for you to go from Florida to North Carolina comes, you can choose to stay in Florida if you do so choose. But as of right now, it looks like your choice will be to go to North Carolina and to um, e eventually, I don't know the time frame on that. Again, that's up to you. Uh, and eventually you will end up there. And I, I hope that's helpful for you, love. Thank you. You are. I guess my son's going to be there then because I wouldn't live there without him. I would stay in Florida if he moved to New York, back to New York. Okay, yeah. Then it seems like that is a strong possibility, and it depends. Now, I, you know, I'm going to say this too. I'm, I'm just going to um, say this as part of what might happen, sweetie. What might happen is you may end up going to Florida and not because of something there. Um, you may transition quickly or or not. It could be wh whatever quickly is to any individual person. It's very different for everybody. But what I will say is however long you spend in Florida, it will be a very good learning experience. Like I hear you're going to have a learning curve there. It's going to be very different for you, but you will enjoy it. Now, however long you want to be there, is up to you um, and you will be able to transition whenever you wish. Thank you so much for calling in. I'm uh, really grateful that I could help you. I hope it was helpful. 708, you're going to be next, but I'm going to take a question from the YouTube chat and the question is coming from Diana. Diana says, Tony, um, she's from Houston. I have a question. Do you see me being a mom having a child of my own in the near future? I think I know the answer, but would love to hear your input. Okay, Diana, is she going to have a kid, a child soon? <clears throat> Diana, soon is a relative term. I do feel like you will have a child and or children. I don't, I don't, I just keep hearing children will be in your life always. I do feel like uh, huh. Okay, Diana, here's what I'm going to tell you. Um I do feel like children or a child will be in your life. How that child ends up in your life might end up being very like interesting or it might not be the way you think. I'm not saying it's not going to happen the way you think, but there's a possible there's many possibilities on the table for you. Just please remember the right souls always end up with us as they're supposed to, okay? I'm gonna go to 708, 708, what's your name and where are you calling from? Kit from Illinois. Um, I'm going through a really rough time. Do I have any messages from my husband? What's his first name, love? Tim. Tim, thank you. Um, well, the first thing I hear is a song, um, Take It Easy. Um, the second thing I hear is everything is going to work itself out. And um, not to minimize what you're going through, please remember this isn't me. <laughs> this is him. Um, and a couple of other folks up there. The one thing that he would want to say to you is... Um, You've been through worse. This is a cakewalk or a piece of cake for you. Um, 
I think this is a joke. I'm not telling you to do this. I'm just saying it's like a statement, like take a chill pill, have a piece of cake and drink a glass of wine. and It'll all be better. I am not telling you to do that. It's like comfort on comfort sort of thing. Um, but what I'm really getting is that this is going to work itself out. And there's a, this is more... Um, this is actually whatever is going on right now has a really big emotional component to it. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say we are emotionally healthy and happy. <clears throat> I get a no. Let's clear, heal and release that. Let's let all that go. And then um, can, I, can I interrupt? I it, It's taken like a physical toll on me and I'm having physical issues. Okay. And when you said the song, Taking It to the Limit, that's him. Okay. The, thank you for the confirmation. Yeah. Um, so what what I'm going to say to you is what he's saying is if I'm, I'm going to say, like, take it easy. If this is, and this is emotional is also what I'm getting. And then what I'm going to say to you is this. He is really trying to say, find something to help you minimize the stress or the emotions or the uh, whatever you want to call it of this. So whether that is um, like some people will uh, just have uh, like a chocolate or a piece of just to relax, just to decompress, just to go to that place. I always recommend meditation, but when you're in a state of this, sometimes that's not even possible. I am doing a clearing for emotional turmoil and uh, being emotionally healthy. And one thing well, I, I'm, I'm worried about my physicality, my, my physical being is related to my emotional being. So it's taking a toll on me physically. I'm physically having issues. So, you know, try, yeah, I, I do meditate. Um, but yeah, you're right. It does get, my mind gets so busy with spinning okay. that it's hard to focus. And here's what I'm going to say to you. And please uh, uh, pay attention here because this is really important for you to know that in order for these physical issues to go, and I understand, I heard you when you said, it's taking a physical toll on me. In order to alleviate that physical yeah. toll, you must heal the emotional issue, the underlying emotional issue. So we're doing a clearing on that, number one. Number two, if meditation okay. isn't working, get to the gym. Just get your butt to the gym and do what you can at the gym. If you don't wanna go to a gym, do what you can at home as far as a physical type of exercise. Do what you can in your home, whether it's just doing some crunches, whether it's just doing some, you know, walking through a park or whatever, but do something physical because when we get into something physical, like if we're walking on a treadmill, on an elliptical, on a bike, it changes our pattern. Now, you you would probably say, if I didn't mute you, you would probably say, I am working out. Do a different exercise. You have to change what you're doing because right now you're in a pattern. You're in a pattern and you have to do something different to get out of that pattern so that your brain has to calculate things in a different way. And you have to pay attention a little bit to what you're doing until you catch your rhythm. And then a release will come. A big release will come. I am going to tell you, please come back to this show at about the 30 minute mark. Uh, I think it's a 30 minute mark of the show. Uh, it might, nope, sorry. Um, it would be about the 20 minute mark of the show and listen to the clearing for emotion, emotional healing again until you feel like you're back at yourself again. Um, here's the thing about emotional things. And 
it's something that I really had to learn and it's very difficult. Emotions aren't real. I mean, they feel real and they're real when they exist within us, but emotions come from our perception of what's going on, not the reality of what's going on. And I know you can argue with me and that's okay. And I get it because I am a very sensitive and emotional person and nobody likes that. Nobody. When you look at the situation as though you're not the person involved, like you're watching it on a movie screen, you can diffuse some of the emotional attachment or heaviness or feelings that go with that. So if you are going through a lot of heavy emotional experiences in this moment and you just sit back and you can try to have that space where you look at it from a different perception, a different view, you will find relief very quickly. Now, I know this is a very difficult time. And when somebody loses somebody or somebody is just going through a lot of financial stuff, it's very, 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 very difficult. And I'm not saying that that is not real. The perception of where it's going or that it's never ending or there is no help or resolve, that's not real. It only feels that way in the moment. Okay? It feels that way in the moment. There's, you know, we have always been taken care of. We will always be taken care of. There is always a resolve. Always a resolve. It may take a little longer than we like. It may not be the answer that we want. It may not even be the solution that we want. It might not be, in, in nine times out of 10, when we're having emotional discourse, especially if it's leading to physical things, something has happened that is forcing us or giving us a choice we don't like. Um, for example, if we have a bad boss and we know we have to leave our job, we don't want to do that. We want to stay in the comfort of the job that we have. I'm not saying this is your situation. So then we start to get emotionally and run the, the course in our head, right? And that's, that's where all of this comes from, where if we just start looking for jobs and finding something else, we'll be in a much better place emotionally, knowing that there are options out there and we have there is a lot to be offered to us. If it's financial, taking that step to bring in extra. Now, sometimes it is the passing of a person and the loss of a person. And it, we do go through a very emotional heaviness. And I get that. I do. And then you just set aside uh, X amount of time every day to spend talking to that person, whether it's with your morning coffee and don't just talk about how much you miss them. Have that normal conversation you would have had with them um, or in the evening as you fall asleep, have that conversation with that person that you miss, but have a 30 minute time frame that you know, I'm going to save this for our 30 minute time frame. I'm going to tell them everything that happened today and I'm then, then I'm going to feel at peace again. And let's do a clearing. I am at peace. I get a no. Let's clear, heal, and release that. Whew. Okay. Thank you so much for calling in. I hope that was helpful. Um, and I hope that this does bring you some resolve and some peace. I'm going to go to YouTube and I'm going to answer Jennifer Jennifer's question here. Any message from my daughter, Brittany? Brittany Michelle, 624. Um, I'm so sorry. She passed so recently. Oh, my goodness. And she was so young. Um, uh, I go by the name Abby. She called me Ma. 
I love her so and have been trying connect with her as well. Okay, so Abby, Jennifer, what I would like you to do to connect with her is just um, remember, first of all, that when we're connecting with a loved one, it's a thought in our head, not a voice outside of it. And sometimes they'll flash a vision or mem memory. And when they do connect with us and they do talk with us, it sounds exactly the same way it would have if they would be sitting right in front of us. So one of the things that I'm getting from Brittany is she was super, um, at one point at least she was super spunky and a little sassy. And uh, Jennifer, I'm going to ask you to confirm that you are still here and that this is true that she was spunky and or sassy, however that word would come across. And then the next thing she she is, yeah, she's super sassy and stupid. Because I'm hearing that song by Britney Spears. It's Britney. Um, okay. So then the next thing she would want to say is, um, she is always with you. And she's singing that song, um, Spirit in the Sky. Um Spirit in the sky, that's where I'm going to go when I die. I got a friend in Jesus. Okay, that's the song, not the other one, that one. Okay, and then um, she is very concerned about some of your, um, she's very concerned about, I think you might be procrastinating or not doing all of the things you're supposed to be doing or just not getting back into life the way you she she would want to see you like okay in when somebody passes the person we are before they pass especially if they're close to us and the person we are after they pass can be two completely per, pe different people she wants you to go back to that joy um have that joy in your heart and know she's there and i know personally me as a physical person i know how hard that is i know especially with a loved one. It's so difficult with when you lose a child, you can never be the same again for some people and nor are we supposed to be. But she wants you to know she's not gone. She's with you. And she wants you to know she's saying, um, she's singing that song, running, running and running, running and running. And then they go into the verses. Um, and then she's saying, She's going to bring you, everybody's about food today. <laughs> She's going to bring you like either a pie or it's pie. I see pie. Um, she's bringing you pie. I don't, I hope it's, it, this is correct. And I hear, I don't know if it's Dutch apple or I think it's two Dutch apple and or peach cobbler is cobbler a pie or never mind um so she wants you to know those are coming like that 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 like i don't know why she's bringing it up but one of them is definitely peach because i can see the peach and then the other one is has a soft uh, like a solid crust on the top so whatever that means for you and or her a la mode a la mode um and then she is saying um she wants you to know it's better than it ever was, and she is okay. She is happy. She is safe, and she has found peace. And she wants you to know, um, oh, she wants you to know that she... Um, She misses, <clears throat> she misses when she was eight and it was all so easy. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry, everybody. All of these emotions from her for you are coming through. And I'm going to tell everybody, I do not have a pretty cry face at all. Um, so I apologize in advance for this. Please, uh, I try so hard to keep it together on this show and not, not go here. But here we are. Um, she wants you to know that she has... Um, she has been, um, who, just a second, let me take a drink. <laughs> she has been reviewing a lot of her life, but especially when it was eight and that we should all keep that attitude of when you're eight and anything is possible and the world is yours and you're just so creative and happy and um, just keep that. Just keep that as long as you can. And she loves you. And I'm going to stop there because that's... Um, and okay, so then um, I'm going to tell everybody what Jennifer's responses were. So because that she's not on the phone, she can't give those confirmations. But um, joking, very athletic, good daughter, so much fun. Um, and then she said, um, <clears throat> "I'm trying so hard. We were so close. She was my." She was a runner. Okay, so the running, running. She was a runner. Uh, she was born in Georgia. So the Georgia peach, the peach is definitely the confirmation. Uh, thank you for all of the confirmations and letting me know where she was coming with those comments and that they made sense to you and they helped. And I'm so sorry for losing it, folks. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 929. 929, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, 929. Okay. That's the three second rule. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 212. 212, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Mary and I'm calling from New York. Hey Mary, how can I help you today? Hi Tony, thanks for taking my call. So I am calling because I am looking to get my career um, up and rolling again. I took some time off and I'm wondering if I could find a job doing what I did in the past uh, remotely or if I need to start up something on my own um, okay. working virtually. Yeah. Okay. So I hear both things are possible, but if you, okay, start, yes, you are going to find something you did in the past absolutely positively it should come in quickly number two part of that oh. is if you look i'm actually hearing abroad or outside of your area you'll definitely find something virtual very very quickly and number three part of this is you can kind of start to do both. If you want, you can look for the position and then you can start something on your own. And whatever you feel the most comfortable with is what you should go with. I do feel like you are going to find something very quickly. And I keep hearing abroad. And what I'm going to say for this abroad statement is this might be a company, like let's just say, for example, Mercedes is like actually a German company and all of their main whatever is in Germany, but you might work with them even though whatever you're do they're abroad and you're here. You might have contact with their uh, main, whatever you call it, that's abroad. I don't know. That's just an example. I'm not saying it's that, but if it is, hey, kudos, they're a good company to work for as far as on the, uh, not on the sales, I mean, even on the sales size, but if you're with the, the main, whatever. Okay. 
Words are failing me today, folks. I apologize, but here we keep going. Um, I am going to say that whatever company or if you go on your own, there's, I keep hearing the word abroad. So this could be something that their main headquarters, that's the word, is in another country or even in another state but you can do it virtually, but you have to look outside of your oh. area for it. Go ahead, love. Uh, interesting. Thanks. I'm actually going to be moving abroad and oh. that's why I need to work virtually. I want oh. to work for a US based company. Okay. Pay more. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting us know that, that now it all makes sense. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. And I'm wondering if I will be making at least as much as I did the last time I had a desk job. Um, if you get, if you be selective and yes, you will be very selective and you will. So if you, if you just take like the very first thing that comes along, you might not make as much but if you're selective and you keep going until you find the um one that you want yes you will and i feel like you will be doing on your own but you you will have something virtual with a company but you're going to have something on your own now i'm going to just step back and say that because you're moving abroad that the company is probably here and you'll be working for a company abroad, but the company being here and you being abroad and it will be just fine. But I feel like you're going to get side work or piece work wherever you end up also, if that makes sense. Yes, because I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on how to set up some sort of side hustle you know, whether I should go into e-commerce or, um, yeah, I've been looking primarily into going into e-commerce. Okay. And the biggest... I'm not sure if that's a good way to go I'm or going, if that's um, a waste of time. I'm going to say be very careful of what you watch and what road you go down they make it they always make it sound so simple right they always make it sound like it's so very simple all you have to do is dot 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 i do feel like whatever you're going to end up doing you're going to i don't know what this means but when you when it happens you will understand it like a split platform Whatever that means. So that, that split platform? Yeah, a split platform. Now that could mean you're going to be doing the job job and then this side thing, and that's the split platform. Or it could mean that whatever you're going to be doing on the side has some sort of split platform. I don't know what that means, to be completely honest, but when the time comes, you're going to understand and know what that is, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Well, thank Excellent. you so much. You are so welcome. I hope this was helpful, and please enjoy your move abroad. Oh, thank you. You will do. <laughs> you are you are welcome. Okay. And thank you again for calling in. Everybody remember I'm here every Monday and Wednesday at noon. Um and I did uh I I'm going to go back and see if I can find uh, another uh question. Hey TV Gill, thank you for joining the show. Um TV Gill is saying Hi, Tony. I've been looking for a new job for months with no success. Why is that? I think uh, the first thing I hear is wrong, wrong, wrong. I, I want to say you're looking either in the wrong area or, yeah, the wrong area of geographically, no, the wrong area of employment. I think you can get, you can do, I just want to say that there's something 
there's something different or new for you that would be much better, TV Gill. And I think that you have to kind of, um, kind of pursue or kind of look at something, look at the career opportunities differently or different career opportunities that you may be very um, qu qualified for. Thank you so much. Qualified for. Okay, love. Um, I'm going to go to, I think the next caller is 925. 925. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. Um, this is Teresa, and I'm calling from California. Hey, Teresa, how can I help I've you? I've been looking for work okay, for okay. several months, and I, I've not been getting anywhere with it. Okay, Teresa, in can I, I'm going to say what I'm going to say, and then I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to say instantly I heard Texas. There is a work opportunity for you in Texas. Um, and it may even be near the border of Texas. Now, this may be a remote or virtual position available for you in Texas, but I don't think you're going to find it listed in California. I think if you're if if what you do, you can do virtually. You have to look in Texas now. If you, what you do, you cannot do virtually. I think you need to look at the Texas work things and see what's listed virtually that you could do. I know that if that doesn't make sense to you, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry if that does not make sense. I've been looking for virtual positions. That's that's the only thing I'm looking for because I want to move out of California, oh. but I'm not getting anywhere and it's been months. Okay. Then what I'm hearing makes perfect sense. Maybe you're supposed to move to Texas. Maybe that's the move you're supposed to make and the job is there and it's virtual. I just want to tell you, look at Texas. Look at Texas for any and or all of the above, whether it be residency or a virtual position. You're not. I think what you have. OK, the way I'm going to say this, and I'm sorry if it's not making perfect sense. I'm going to try to say it in another way. Go look look at the different states at their listings or the companies that you would want to work for and look at their listings and see what's available virtually. So I hear Texas, whether that means you're going to move to Texas and work virtually there, or it means the position you have to look at Texas-based company websites. Who? Yes, Texas-based company websites. So what I would do with this information, if I were looking for a virtual position and they're telling me Texas, I would go and look at uh, companies that are um, the main base. I just said the word a minute ago with that mercy. The the home company is in Texas or you know whatever, and then go to if if it's something that feels the company feels right to you, go to their website and see what they're offering for virtual employment and then apply. And that's the way it's. I feel like you have a better shot or a better opportunity. And I feel like that's how it's going to work. And whether it's Texas and then you go Utah and then you go New Mexico and then you go Arizona, you just have to look differently than the way that you're looking right now, because the way you're looking right now, you're just going to get the same pieces of caca coming up and you need to look in a new way now and you need to look state specific or city Pacific specific. I hope that's helpful, love. I'll try it out. Thank you so much, Tony. You are so welcome and good luck with um, finding a job. I'm going to do a clearing right now for anybody looking for work. All that is stopping, blocking, hindering anybody listening, watching from finding work has been healed, cleared, released. Oh God, you guys can hear my voice. <laughs> oh, 
holy cow. Oh, if you feel this, please comment that you feel it. Please let me know I'm not the only one feeling this one. Oh, oh okay. It's lightening up a little bit. Um, uh, let's clear all that caused this and kept us as healed, cleared, and released. I get a no. Let's heal, clear, and release that. Whew. And the other thing I hear for you is be open to energy companies. Now, if this is for you, Ooh, okay. thank goodness. If it's for somebody else or other people listening also, thank goodness. Be open to energy companies. Now, I'm going to throw a few things out that might not come to the mind right away when I say energy companies. Thing number one, obviously energy, like power and energy companies. Number two, solar energy companies, anything with that. Number three, energy drinks. I, I do not drink them, but, you know, they need employees too. They need people too. Um, so energy companies, whatever that means for whomever is listening and you, my beautiful, beautiful girl, um, look into that and see what's available. Also, you might be surprised energy companies. And I don't, I don't, I'm going to say energy drinks came out last. That might be for somebody else, but energy companies might be very, um, very good for you. And it, even if you look up a company, you've never heard about them. You don't know what they do kind of look into them a little bit. Don't just poo poo them right away. They might be a really good company to work for and have really good opportunity for you is the other thing that I'm hearing. Okay, sweetie. Oh, that's interesting that you said that because I put myself on a list for an energy company. Okay. And there was two of them that I applied for. Uh, um, I would say re up is what I'm hearing. Reach out to them again, send them a follow up, re up in okay. whatever way you can for them. Okay, sweetie. Thank you so much, Tony. You are so welcome. You have an amazing rest of the day. I look forward to next time. You as well. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm going to see if I can find another question. And you guys, I'm going to be really honest. On the chat, there's so many questions. And I'm I'm probably, I'm going to apologize if I have not um, answered your question. I'm just popping through wherever I can to get whatever I can because I don't want to um, try to go back and find um, the question that in the in the whatever order um, because that would uh, take time. May uh, Olga wants to know, may I ask what you see coming in my career in the near future? Oh, another question about career. Oh, okay. Olga, what I'm getting for your career, I just hear it's fine. It's okay. I think I would need a little bit more detail with that question. Um, when you ask a vague question, sometimes you get a vague answer, but it's fine. And that everything is just, they just keep saying, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I don't know what that means for you, sweetie. I hope that's a good answer. I want to thank everybody who's on um, listening on a podcast um, or on uh, any of the podcasts or on YouTube with me right now who has liked and subscribed. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I'm going to go to 347. 347, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. Thank you for taking my call. This is Katie and I'm in New York. Hey, Katie. How can I help you today? Hi. I have a career question as well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but it's a little different. So I actually had an interview today with a company I really want to work with, and it got rescheduled for tomorrow, which is okay. And um, I've been doing a lot of like clearing a lot of energy, doing a lot of changes, and I was I'm actually overqualified for the position, and I also applied for other positions that, that pay better. And I noticed. Like, I feel like I have a sabotage mind or something. Like, there's a part of me that wanted me to kind of, like, feel nervous and anxious. And I feel like it was trying to get me to feel not good enough. 
And I'm like, no, I don't want to feel that way. I know I'm good enough. I'm worthy. I'm overqualified. Like, they're lucky to have me, you know. But I felt my mind, a part of my mind was trying to get me to, I guess, go back into kind of like a pattern or something. Or You you know what I mean? Okay. I am going to say this. First and foremost, I started, for everybody listening, re-listening, watching, re-watching, we're doing just a general clearing to clear out all energies that do not belong, all old energies, all toxic energies, all the past get it gone, let it go. The second thing I'm going to do for everybody who hears my mouth right now, any and all self-sabotage and all that has caused that has cleared, healed, and released. I get a no. Heal all that has kept this. Clear it now. We're going to clear that. And then what I'm going to say to you is I feel like they are going to make sure you get the Job and I'm hearing the song money, 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 Ooh, money, yeah, baby, money, 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 money. You're gonna get the sh money, honey. They're gonna rain down the dollars. They are not gonna let you be in a job where you're overqualified. And as a matter of fact, I feel like the company that you're applying to will know that you're overqualified and therefore you will not be content and you will probably quit with a quickness. And the company is a little dysfunctional on top of that. There may not be room for growth in that particular company for you. I hear kind of bottom of the barrel sort of statement, whatever that means for that. Not a bad company, just statements I'm hearing. And remember with every job carries an energy. Every company, every position Mm -hmm. at that company carries an energy. So for you, they want you to be in a money, honey, money, 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 energy. So you're going to get the the job that pays the money, the job. And there's two more possibilities coming in. And I hear it ain't done yet. (laughs) Like just like that. Like, just like that. It ain't done yet. (laughs) Like, like you may think this is the end, but we, we ain't done yet. Um, And as a matter of fact, I feel like today or tomorrow, you might hear something from a separate company or see another listing. And when you do, you're going to be able to like, I see you. The vision I'm getting is somebody's holding, like, you know, they're leaning over the top of a mountain and holding their arm down and you're grabbing on and they're just pulling you up to the top with them. So whatever company you're going to end up in, that is the energy that is for you. It's not going to be a competitive based company. Oh, thank sweet baby Jesus for that because we don't need competition from people sitting next to us. It is a company where everybody thrives on uh, next level, next level, next level. Um, And then so that is where they want you to be. So I'm going to double down on the self-sabotage. Okay. Holy cow. All self-sabotage, all that caused it, all that's kept it as healed, cleared, and released. Having this serves a purpose. Nope. Uh, we learned all the lessons. Um, you just get it gone. Take it all from everybody, everybody, because w- we have had enough of this. You need to go, whatever company this is, you're going to get like, um, oh, not 90 seconds. Um, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna feel it, but you might be a little nervous, but it's going to be a good nervous and you're going to love it and it's going to be perfect. And you're going to know when you walk in, as soon as you hit the, this is how you know it's the company. When you talk to them, you might be a little like, you know how we can sit slouched or if you, if it's an in-person interview, as soon as you hit the property, you do this like uh, shoulders back, chest out, butt popped. Um, <laughs> um, but even if it's on the phone and you're, you're sitting, if it's a virtual, you know, shoulders back, chest out, butt popped, <laughs> chin high, chin up, buttercup sort of thing. Okay. I have like 60 seconds. I think you get it. I love you so much. Thank, thank you. you for calling in. Oh, uh, that is the you. perfect energy to end this show on. I love each and every one of you so very much. Thank you.